The basic ingredients for hailstones to form are ice condensing nuclei, supercooled water droplets, latent heat, and powerful updrafts. The supercooled water must come in contact with dust or pollen particles. When the updraft is strong enough to carry water droplets and ice condensing nuclei high into the atmosphere, they interact and freeze, turning into ice. This is the start of a tiny hailstone. The stone then falls until it's lifted up again by the updrafts, forming another ice coating around the tiny hailstone. The stronger the updraft, the larger the hail that gets created, as the updraft will keep the hail recirculating and growing until its weight is too heavy for the suspending updrafts. This process repeats over and over until the weight of the hailstone is too heavy for the updraft to keep it suspended. The hailstones then fall towards the earth, striking everything in its path, including homes. The hail strikes roofing shingles, blasting and bruising the asphalt material. The fiberglass mat is cracked and softened. The impact simultaneously sloughs and impresses the granules, exposing the vulnerable shingle substrate to the UV rays. The bruise prematurely ages the shingle and causes failure. When a hailstone is cracked open, the story is told of how the stone was created. The stages of ice layers forming it as it circulates through the atmosphere can be viewed in the form of rings similar to that of a tree.